Wealth of Nations was written in 1776, I think, a great year for the world for a lot of reasons. But we're arguing about socialism again, and we're arguing about free markets again. Incredible. Uh, but uh, there are statistics that you can point to, and I mean, there's been globalization, there's been the emergence of the Chinese workforce. I mean, think of the way inequality around the world has gone down, but in certain developed countries, inequality has, has gone, up, gone up. And there, there is a, a, a feeling that 50, 60 percent of people in this country don't have access to the American dream like they used to. And that's what's spurring some of this talk from Jamie Dimon. I mean, he defended uh, capitalism, but he at least brought up that it's frayed. The American dream is frayed. I mean, what do you make of that? I think the American dream was dying until President Donald Trump was inaugurated. I mean, literally look at it. I mean, I, I saw it in the industrial Midwest where I was a governor, where we had trade deals that resulted in particularly automotive manufacturing factories literally leaving our state and going south of the border. I mean, I, even after we were elected, in the days after we were elected, there was word of a company leaving and going south of the border to Mexico. and and. And the, the American people know that. They felt that. I mean, their kids graduating from college and not being able to find a job in the area that they were educated. But this president came in and said, look, we're going to cut taxes for individuals and businesses. We're going to roll back federal red tape at a record level, any administration in history to date. We're going to unleash American energy, the tremendous natural resources, and we're going to fight for trade deals that put American jobs and American workers first. And then you look at those numbers, 5.5 million jobs but again, I go back to the, the wages are rising at last. Wages are rising for working Americans at the mo fastest pace of all. And I think that gives evidence of the fact that, that the American dream is coming back. People are seeing opportunity open up. Small business confidence at record highs, according to the NFIB. But uh, what was the American dream in trouble? Uh, going into the 2016 election, you bet. I, I, I really do believe that's why the American people Right. chose a president whose family lived the American dream yes. and who was willing to go in and fight to make the American dream available for every American.